Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The new chair of the Assembly Veterans Committee would like to see better efficiency in the way services are provided for our veterans. She's also working toward a cemetery for our veterans here in Orange County. And she's with us now, Assemblywoman Sharon Quirk Silva. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Leslie. Yes, it is, it's an honor to be the new chair of the Veterans Committee for our Assembly in the state of California. But we have work to do. You have a big job ahead of you. A recent audit showed that uh, things aren't being run really well as far as uh, the effort to help our veterans with everything that they need. Yes, we did uh, see in our audit we have work to do in our veterans' homes. We know that uh, we have some beds available. We need to get those veterans into those veterans' homes to get the care they need. In addition, we also know that we have a growing number of homeless veterans. So our job is to make sure they can access the benefits that they have earned and that they so deserve. And so we want to make sure that we can get their disability processed. Where do you even begin? It seems like a huge job, and right now there are some identified inefficiencies. So where do you really start? What are you going to do um, you know, specifically? Well, one thing that we did is we passed legislation last year that put a strike force team in with hiring over 40 full-time employees to work directly with the federal government side by side in the same office. We've now found that our backlog of over 3,000 has diminished to 15,000 claims. So we're going to continue to focus on getting those veterans uh, connected with their disability. We're going to continue to focus on working within our own counties to build those collaboratives to make sure they can access the resources that are available. I think a lot of veterans feel shut out. You know, they get pushed to the fringes. They uh, experience homelessness and then it's really difficult from that position to access the services that are even available to them. Yes, and we know that the stress of not only serving our country for uh, the most recent, being in Afghanistan, Iraq, that uh, those coming back home do have uh, issues with mental health. We need to make sure when they're leaving uh, that they're transitioning to come back home, they know the information. And so we're going to be working on really making sure that when they get home, they have the resources they need and the connection, so they're only a phone call away. One of the other things that you're working toward is a California Veterans Cemetery specifically one here in Orange County. There is not one here in Orange County. Exactly, and I'm really proud to present AB 1453, which is my bill for an Orange County Veterans ce Cemetery. Uh, the closest cemetery is in Riverside, and Orange County is the largest county without a veterans cemetery. So there has been a group of very uh, bipartisan group of veterans working uh, very closely for uh, a long period to lay the groundwork. This legislation will help put it at the front, but it will take quite a bit of time to find the land and then make sure the state and federal government can work towards this process. What kind of support are you seeing for this? Uh, we see uh, a lot of excitement. We've had letters uh, from veterans themselves saying thank you so much for this legislation and we know that uh, there's interest and now our job is to put the pieces together. What are some of the areas that you would uh, look at to put One, one of the primary uh, which makes sense is the Al Toro Air Force Base mm -hmm. and uh, working with the ir local Irvine uh, local electeds is one opportunity there so we actually have a meeting today to discuss that but we'll be working throughout the entire county uh, to have maybe a plan A, plan B and plan C and we need to find the land that's available. Uh -huh. What is the next bit of business as far as the the targets that the audit found that you're going to concentrate on? Well one was the veterans homes the other was the disability claims we found that California uh, as far as accessing disability was, was very low in standing meaning that we have have the veterans here, but they're not accessing their disability. So again, making sure they have that connection. All right. Assemblywoman Sharon Quirk-Silva, thank you very much. Thank you so for much. For being here. And we're glad you could join us. I'm Leslie Layton.